Hey guys, I wanted to make this video about YouTubers in general, magic YouTubers, and I wanted to say that we are flawed individuals. We're not perfect, uh, we just make videos. And the reason I'm making this video is obviously uh, we had some drama and there's some type of, I don't know, It's I, I guess the best way I can kind of explain this is I kept quiet for a very long time about this, although I had a very strong opinion. And my strong opinion is I like all those YouTubers involved in the drama. I consider them my friends and colleagues, and I consider them good people. And they're, I don't have any beef against any of them. Uh, I like them all. I like uh, the Man of Source has been nothing but nice to me. Uh, he's been you know, nothing but a positive impact on the community. Uh, HQ is the only YouTuber I've ever met, and he... I don't know, like he is a, he's awesome to talk in person and he's just a good, everyone here is a good guy. McQuacks is just honest and to quote him, it's about friendship to him and that's, that's awesome. And then Darium, I mean Darium and I, like there's not much I need to say about our relationship except that he supported me when, or he gave me his seal of approval when, net, like at that point in t time, uh, that was illogical to do. I think he understands that as well, but he did it anyway. And we're, we are all, I like all four of those people. And outside of those four, I know um, I watched a video by Lubufu and he was very sad. I knew exactly what that video was about, although it was like subtle, I guess. And I talked to Lubufu, I talked to Zeme. Um, I like, I don't, there's not very many people I don't like in this community. community. Uh, Tolarian Academy, Mythic, MTG, like all these people are really good people. Rants, like they're good people. Um, Gers on Nerds, as well as, jeez, uh, Bad Wolf Trading, I'm trying to remember, Quad Nines, like all these people who make content, I think we understand each other. We do understand each other, like Sam, Magic Man Sam, like we, un he made that video, Rogue Deck Builder, he made, people have made videos saying that uh, along the lines that we should be nice to all everybody that you as a subscriber should be nice to content creators content creators should be nice to each other and things along the lines of that and I totally agree with him I ag absolutely agree with the idea that like you we as a community will only get bigger and bigger um, there's no reason to fight what are we fighting you know like what would be the point of fighting against us or ourselves um, Every time we fight, we are going to make the community smaller. And I, I would hate for it to be a community where there's so much uh, resentment that the, new, the newer members of our community, subscribers or content creators, feel divided that they have to choose between this side or that side. I mean, it just does not make any sense to me um, in any sense. And a lot of people, a lot of people don't, necessarily like me very much either and that's that's absolutely okay and I just wanted to say that we are not perfect individuals I don't play magic 24 hours a day I haven't even played magic I think this entire month I play magic whenever I feel like playing magic I don't keep up on prices I know a lot of you still call me MTG finance channel I find that a little funny uh, I find it actually kind of really funny because I've tried to I realized that if I was an MTG Finance channel, I wouldn't be as, not as big as I am today, but as happy as I am today. I'm extremely happy compared to when I was a, a full-time MTG Finance, I'm a full-time, when I was, I would never full-time MTG Finance channel. I, even then I was doing anime and Vanguard and top five female anime characters, top five male anime ca characters. Even back then I wasn't MTG Finance. So, yeah, I, MTG's finance just never made me happy. Like making videos about that, like every day to tell you what to buy. I don't tell you what to buy. And people ask me and they tell me, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's all, of, I mean, it, the questions are just so bizarre to me that uh, I do recommend what to trade into. I do recommend, hey, you might get a place at this, but I'm not, like I wouldn't say, oh, we all need to go out and buy this card because it's gonna, let's make this card spike, or hey, this is how we're gonna make a livelihood from Magic the Gathering. I, I would never say that we could make a livelihood from Magic the Gathering, like, enjoy it as a hobby, 
uh, and just be nice to each other. Like that's all I need to say because sometimes when people are nice to each other, for no other reason than they can be, the community itself grows and gets better. So I felt like I should make this video. Um, there's very, I mean, there's probably, I can't think on the top of my head anyone I don't actually like in the community. And there's a great community to join and we need to build it up and we need to make a supportive environment for new members, for subscribers who want to make their own channel. I think it is the responsibility of the YouTubers who may have more subscribers to help the YouTubers who do not have that many subscribers. As long, in my opinion, I will. It's about consistent content. Um, it's about you know passion, and it's about just having fun at it. So if you display those on your YouTube channel, I don't have no problem supporting you. And I think that's it. Bye, guys.